tradition does not equal guarding the ashes, but passing on the flames. A handful of hunters are waiting to enter the shooting stands of the target range of Galgamacha, located on a picturesque valley close to Budapest. This is an important day, and although the trigger finger works hard in the January cold, a friendly excitement heats the soul. Strange rifles appear from the cases. Hero Flintlock and the percussion rifle, their lever action Winchester and an old bolt action military rifle, and even some vintage external hammer double rifles. Although the types are many, some important factors connect them all. No scopes are mounted on the barrel, and they all share some important historical values. This is a historical moment with historical firearms. These are the preparations for the first ever driven hunt with vintage rifles in Hungary, and although lever actions and bolt actions could be used in the past for such hunting methods, this is the first occasion for the muzzle loaders to legally participate at a driven hunt. This ends a long but adventurous legalization process started more than 10 years ago, resulting that today all hunting methods are available for muzzle loading hunters as well. The loading procedure for rifles are of course slower but a shooter's hands are much more secure, they better understand the importance of the first shot and we usually do not have a second. We are not afraid to take a shot on the game up to 100 meters with open sights and we don't have to worry about the killing power of our bullets, they can kill just as fast and effective as the modern hunting bullets. We are setting sail for the eastern part of the country after a good dinner. Our destination is Suhafu, a beautiful little village close to the border, where the local hunting party invited our team for a historical hunt. This is a very special place, as the local hunters of the neighboring hunting clubs are united according to basic measures to protect the game and to support sustainable hunting. I am sure that there are conflicts within the system, but these basic values serve as a guideline for all, merging the individual will into a common approach. The delegation of the Hungarian Muzzle Loading Shooters and Hunters Association was greeted by the chairman of the hunting area, Mr. István Hercik. Our team was enforced by Mr. Pierangelo Pedersoli, owner of Davide Pedersoli Firearms Making Company, who did a lot for the Hungarian Black Powder Hunters and Shooters. The head of the professional hunters organizing team was Mr. Csaba Ujlaki, and we had one of the very first supporters of Black Powder Hunting in our rows, Mr. Arpad Ambrosi, a well-known traditional hunter. Pinching cold, smell of coffee, excited waiting. I check my powder charges again, but I know that I already did this yesterday in the evening twice. There are familiar faces all around me. Two decades long friendships, but each of them still has that special twinkle in the eye we all acquired when we fired our first black powder shot. Anything happens, I know this will be a day to remember. There will be no jealousy if somebody won't have a chance to shoot. Hunting is not a restaurant where you get served what you order. If you enter the woods with expectations, your gift will be nothing more than disappointment. Accept all the little bits of joy nature offers you and you will be wealthy till the end of your life. A skilled team of professional hunters prepared a driven hunt that did not only serve our joy. The plan was not to drive the game with dogs and shouting, but to slowly move the red deer groups in front of the shooting stands of our hunters, so they can select and shoot the weakest only. This kind of selective hunting is a key element of maintaining a healthy population. Our shooting stands were placed in neighboring valleys, so theoretically each shooting stands had a good chance. 
We had a job to do, so we had to shoot even if the game was outside the open sight range. Therefore, each of us brought a modern scoped rifle into the stand as well. Not only your black powder rifles are special, but all the accessories, accoutrements we use are unique. We are all different, some carry the charges in the pocket, some in the hunting pouch, and some place them on a small table to facilitate access. In many cases, we make our own tools, not because they cannot be bought in a store, but because we have a strong and ancient instinct to personalize them. Powder and bullet. Does not sound complicated, but still, they need a specialized knowledge. The type and quantity of powder, the form and weight of the projectile, they all have a serious effect on accuracy. Exactly as in the case of the modern hunting arms, we have to reach a muzzle energy of 2500 joules for big game. But before we take aim on the game, we develop a load at the shooting range. We practice a lot with open sights, and when we are walking the woods, we stop time by time to judge the distance of a tree or rock to prove it if our theoretical shot was justified or not. Hunting from a stand is easier, of course, as we always have a time to properly measure the distance of the key objects around us. It is clearly understandable to ask why it is good to hunt with a gun that is inferior compared to the modern scoped repeating rifles. If you reach this far, I'm pretty sure that you already know the answer. By limiting ourselves, we increase the challenge, increase the adventure, and through this we increase the value of the memory. The more elements of the hunt are depending on the hunter, and not on advanced tools, the more joyful the hunt will be. Hunting with an open sight rifle is harder, of course. At least it is more difficult than shooting a game from two, three hundred meters with the scoped rifles. On the other hand, if you succeed, you can be proud of your achievement. Silence, lack of sounds, but it is never emptiness for the nature-loving people. Leaving the civilization, your senses open and tuned to the frequency of nature, filling each moment of waiting with life. You cannot be bored, not even for a single second. Drivers moved quietly, gently knocking on wood to move the game to our shooting positions. You need extensive experience and skill to organize such hunt, as placing the stands on the regular rules of the game is the key to success. This ancient hunting method is called a Wrigley in my country, and differs a lot from the regular Divern hunt. There are no dogs and no rush. Everything has its own place and own time. Seventeen hunters were waiting in seventeen stands for the desired game to appear. The leader of the professional hunters did an excellent job with his colleagues. The game was continuously moving, well entertaining the members of our team.
It was an exceptional day. We paid respect to the game and thanked our inviters for such a beautiful day while we discussed the stories of each and every single shot. Ten red deers, four wild boars and three roe deers were laying in the cataflac in front of us. Out of nearly 50% were taken with historical arms. Not each of us had a chance to shoot, but this did not decrease the value of the occasion. We were just as happy with the success of our friends. We are participating on a very special event, January 2020, the first black powder event of the year. This is the first ever driven hunt with muzzle loaders, or more accurately vintage firearms of patterns before 1945 that are equipped with open sights like the lever action rifles or military rifles of the world wars. My rifle is a 54 caliber Pedersoli traditional Hawken target rifle with an excellent quality versatile bore. This rifle is rugged, excellent for both target shooting and hunting. I managed to shoot a calf from 70 meters distance that seemed very weak. My rifle is a Pedersuli Mr. River Hawken 50 caliber percussion rifle. This rifle does not like round bows due to its fast twist bore, but stabilizes perfectly the modern saboted hunting rounds and also lead long bows cast from a Pedersuli mold. Probably I am the only one to use peep sights for hunting. I know it's not usual, but I love it. I bought this rifle around 15 or more years ago. By that time there were not too many books in Hungary about muzzle loaders, so I found the info in a Ketner catalog that the World Championships were won with a rifle like this. This was the reason why I decided to buy a 54 caliber Pedersoli Tryon rifle. I do also falconry and bow hunting, so I have to share my time between the traditional hunting methods, but I really have to say that this was a very well organized, excellent hunt with an excellent team, built on friendship. This is a Pedersoli Tryon target standard rifle with one turn in 48 inches rifling, able to stabilize both round bows and medium sized conical bullets, so it is both good for target shooting and for hunting. I chose this rifle because of its versatility and the easiness of cleaning thanks to the hooked breech and the easy removal of the bore. This is a model 1896 Carl Gustav Swedish military rifle from the beginning of the 20th century. Its caliber is 6.5 by 55 Swedish, an excellent caliber for big game of Europe. Today we were hunting with vintage rifles in a beautiful place with excellent organization and excellent team. I managed to shoot three games from three shots, so what more can I say, I feel gifted. This is an original 1886 model Winchester repeating rifle. It is an old rifle, so I really care for her. It's a joy to hunt with this gun. The caliber is 4570 government, a classic American cartridge that entered service after the Civil War, being the cartridge of the Springfield Trapdoor single shot rifles. This is a popular hunting round even today. My rifle is a Pedersuli 1886 model sporting rifle in 4570 caliber. I load the cartridges with a 300 grain semi jacketed hollow point bullet. It has an excellent killing power for big game. Due to its large weight, it's nearly unstoppable, while its trajectory is of course curved. But with open sights, we don't shoot over 100 meters, and within this distance, it's just perfect. This was a very special hunt today. This was the very first occasion in Hungary to see muzzle loaders and vintage cartridge firearms together on a driven hunt. It was a good team, and although it was very cold, we could hunt on a beautiful area with excellent game density. This was a successful day. But it does not matter if you shoot a muzzle loader or a breech loader. For us, hunting starts within the hearing, smelling, seeing range of the game. <laughs> 